Hills. They are the perfect place to go and smack a giant house on top of. So in today's video, I'm building a hillside house in Rossburg. So on screen now, you should hopefully be seeing my inspiration picture. So as you can see, we're going to have half the house like leaning on the hill. And then the other half is going to be kind of on the ground. So it's kind of a... <laughs> Also, I don't know why I'm dressed like an explorer. Am I going to be exploring the staircase of my new house? But we'll name the plot either way. Honey, hillside, home. Let's go! Okay, so we're going to start off by building the hill. Now, don't judge my hill building skills too soon, guys. Okay, you've got to trust the process. So, of course, that just looks like a Minecraft block of cobblestone. It doesn't look like a hill, but I'm going to show you how to make it look more realistic. So, we've got the mansard roof, if you didn't see what I just pressed. Basically, you're just going to play around with these in the basement. But the key part is opening this up. Did you see how that just went from this to, like, a big starfish and then you're going to place it whatever color you want so i'm personally having mine as this brick and then grass and there's no rules with this you can do it as much as you want what don't follow rules i make them but do remember to change the height and stuff, make it look real, really realistic. And already this is looking super duper realistic. And did you know, I found out the other day you can resize stairs. So one of the days where we waste loads of money. However, I don't just want them going down flat like a pancake. Pancake day has been and gone chickens. So watch what I'm doing here. I'm adding a square exactly the size of these steps. Basically, we're just going to add another step in this side. And wow, this is actually becoming a lot more complicated than I thought. Why didn't I just do a normal staircase? But then we'll place that block down there. And you know what? I'm happy I did that after all. I think it looks really nice and we can sadly only add fences here because otherwise Bloxburg just isn't having it but I kind of like it it feels a little bit like abandoned sheep but like abandoned in a good way, you know, it probably starts about here. And then this is where it sort of comes out a little bit. And this is where we're going to have our big living room, probably going to be two stories. And then a little bit like this, it's not too like weirdly shaped. It's got just enough. And I was thinking out here is where we could continue the hill. And once again, we've kind of got to like go with that rickety vibe now. So we've got to have some like gaps in our fences. And I'm sorry, but Bloxburg terraforming is like my new favorite pastime. Here we go, guys. This is the hill. I think this looks absolutely amazing magnificent. I don't know if you can see on my inspo picture, but they have got vertical planks, or that, that's what I'm guessing it is. Then I'm actually going to pair this with some linen planks too. And so just to show you, this is so far what I have got. There is actually technically going to be a third floor here, but we're going to make it out of glass if that makes sense. This is one of the oldest building hacks in Bloxburg. You grab a basic cube and basically what we're doing here is adding a fake roof. So we'll make it three wide, which is as wide as it goes. And then we just use the good old trans form tool to shove these down into looking like some sort of roof and if you're like me and struggle with dimensions because i'm very bad at maths put a wall in the middle so you can see when you reach it and this is so far what i've come up with it's kind of like barnyard-esque style now we've got that middle bit in we're only doing this across one part because i'm not actually a build genius however i must admit i find it very therapeutic doing roofs like this i think it's just like a little therapy session and the final stage is of course adding the windows in so to do this you're just going to use transparent or if you want to semi transparent cubes while you're building this i definitely make these a stupid bright color so you can actually see what the hell is going on and these should actually slot really perfectly and really easily in and i'm so happy i've done this it's kind of like who else used to play that game where you had to make things out of magnets and like these colored glass that is what this feels like right now then the standard square beams to sort of make a pattern so with that done now we can add in the rest of the roofs which are going to be very very simple Simple because we've got our crazy roof now. We don't need anything really to top that. And wowza. So let's now add the doors to go in. And I just straight away know that it's going to be a house with French doors. For the pillars, these can be pretty simple. We're going to use recessed pillars because we might as well add as much detail as we can. So perhaps a little something like this. Oh, this is turning into like Count Dracula's lair. <laughs> Next of all, we're going to add in the windows because it just makes sense. Things in my hillside home that just make sense. First of all, y'all, I have lots of large windows because it let lots of light in. <laughs> I'm not suited to that sweet voice. I've got much more of like a harsh voice. Like a lot of British people, I speak quite harshly. The thing is, I was in her dressing room and I was like, she said, there was only a little curtain. Yeah, we'll have these large glass windows and oh yeah, it's all flooding back to me now how you're meant to do this. So we'll actually delete these and then I forget you actually line them up with the real windows. And this also helps to make them not so jaunty because they were a little bit uneven before, I must admit. Next up, we're going to use that, I think it's half panel, small panel. These are going to go on the side here and we're going to outline them with square beams because apparently I'm on a mission to waste all my money today and then we can copy and paste these so they look a little wild but I kind of like 
like I love it wild <laughs> with that we have the shell of the hillside mansions I feel like we've done enough of the exterior for now. We'll come out and do the front yard in a bit I want to go in and do a little bit of the interior, you know first things first We can delete this as well because that's just taking up unnecessary space It's actually not gonna be as big as it looks from the outside. It looks absolutely blimmin humongous But as I just said, it's not actually gonna be like that. Alrighty It's gonna be a little bit of an upside down house That's what I like to call it because of course we're walking in upstairs that is already strange enough in here is going to be the first bedroom which actually gets its own balcony and closet and then here's the perfect place for a little bathroom as you walk in then we still have a massive entryway and hallway rather than using spiral stairs i quite enjoy using the floating glass stairs i forget that it's actually so bright in here like we hardly even need lights at this stage underneath this bit we might as well add some walls and here i was thinking could be like a really cool laundry room but like a massive one and then this is going to act as like a hallway into i'm thinking the kitchen and then the dining room oh my god i love it Alrighty, so we'll start off with the kitchen and for the floor i actually want to do a custom floor so i'll quickly move this out here because i cannot be bothered to travel all the way up this uh, staircase and oh my god Gosh, I just won 40 blocks bucks. <laughs> And this is gonna be the floor we do, but of course we'll place that in after all the appliances, otherwise it'll be absolute chaos in here. Since it's kind of hillside and rustic, I'm gonna be using literally the rustic counters in here. So we'll have quite an interesting layout if I do say so myself. Oh, oh my gosh, this is an amazing glitch. Did you guys see that? I wish they would add an open cabinet like that. It looked amazing. As I was saying, we're gonna be having quite a lot of cabinets in here. And yup, just sort of have that wrap around. This looks nice. Also, I kind of wanna use this Oh, yeah, and then we'll have the breakfast island. I think coming straight off of it here We'll only have this as a small one because obviously we don't want to take up loads of room in the kitchen for the dining table We're gonna make it really quite thick and it's gonna be almost like a square table Because I never do squares But I thought like that's actually kind of a look because this is a hillside house guys We're incorporating the theme of the video We can't actually add windows here because of course we're in a mountain However, I was thinking we could kind of do it a little bit clever and grab some wall lights like this this way We can actually put like some windows up here and as if we're like looking into the mine i just thought that was like quite a cool touch for the chairs i'm guessing we could just add these and hopefully oh yes it fits exactly how i wanted it to so anyway we'll then have like a nice big fireplace the doors that we should use in here we'll use the panel ones i don't often use that oh i've never done that before oh my gosh this is a eureka moment eureka! i've never colored doors like this forget green on the front door let's make it this nice wood as the wall trim i've kind of had like quite a genius idea that we make it like slated like the fireplace finally on this wall i want to do something i really feel like a rustic house like this would have it's basically going to be sort of like a kitchen shelving unit but like an interesting one it's mainly going to be for pots and pans and i was thinking yes we could incorporate the wall pans like hanging down off here and do you know what i mean this just feels like it matches perfectly Perfectly what we're trying to do here and then we can even add some spoons i like rusty spoons and then the stools here that match are probably these ones match the best and, and then i did forget to add the appliances as well so we don't really have room for much mucking about in here we'll put them where they need to go and guys for a second there i was like why does this look so weird i haven't colored anything have i just lost the ability to see color or something i never build like this normally i color as i go but today apparently not and although the white does look really good i'm actually going to be coloring this to be brown and the appliances to be black and golden and i still can't believe i'm only just coloring everything although i must admit i do like building in this order it's something a little different yup okay i think that's everything colored so now i've got the difficult task of adding in this flooring and i'm hoping that it's exactly four wide if not i've just been daft apus and at the back i have made a little bit of an oopsie daisy as you can see it's not quite long enough but i think if we just color this white then you're not really gonna notice and then i just sped up me doing the rest because y'all don't need to see me play floor. Ta-da! The floor is done. And this looks insane. And just on top of this table as a centerpiece, did you know you can actually use carpets as centerpieces because you can resize them down and we can just put a jar on this or something. And a lot of the light is going to come from my secret underfloor lighting. Nothing's changed, guys. And also, complete random side note, guys. Do you know I play golf? <laughs> I've just remembered that because I have a golf lesson later. But if you guys are looking for a sport to get into, 
I would highly recommend golf. It is so fun. And if you are not exactly sporty like me, then golf's the perfect sport for you because you just stand there and swing. And next up, shall we go upstairs and do the entryway? Because we did just skip that. Once again, the walls are pretty much just going to be the same. And I've decided to change the glass to this rusticness. I thought we would move to modern inside, but we really haven't. And if you're wondering how I'm going to fix that on the stairs, I'm simply going to use the attitude stairs. These stairs have so much sass. We'll have a light as you walk in, you know, set the mood right we want it to be very inviting very encouraging we'll also add a plant here and then i'm gonna add one of those really annoying carpet when i say annoying i don't find them annoying but lots of people kind of hate these but i'm hoping we love them on this channel it's where you get a tiled carpet and then you do this with it do you know what if you like this if you really love this comment down below any green emoji and i can see who likes it and if you really hate this then comment down below any red emoji and i'll be able to see who really hates it anyway next up in this corner here we're going to be using the hairpin lounge chair. But I was thinking if we twist these around and put them inside of each other, it's like we can have a really cool, almost window seat here because there is a window there, I guess. Also, I feel like this is the type of house to maybe have even some candelabras on the wall. Now, I don't know if that's actually what these are called, but it sounds awesome. So I'm going to call them candelabras from now on. So as we go over here, basically a place where the kids can get away from the grandparents and the parents and such. We're not going to have a TV downstairs, but we will have one up on this bit. Oh my gosh, I forgot. God, how high the ceiling is here. Wow. I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed. For the coffee table, I'm going to do... You guys have seen me build this so many times now, so it's not even, like, unique anymore. Also, in this corner, what do kids love more than playing the piano? I know I'm technically a teenager because I'm 17, but I still love playing the piano, guys. So, we'll add a grand piano here, black and gold. But how nice would it be just to play piano over this gorgeous view? I mean, we'll add some trees out there, actually. And I'm sure everyone knows this, but if you didn't, you can actually resize pine trees, of course. And also, we can add a little kind of river system going on out here. I don't know where I'm going with this. And yeah, that is a much more gorgeous view now. We'll add another... $4,000. I was about to say we'll add another one of these, but crumbs, that is expensive. And I'm wondering if we're going to be able to get a chandelier above here because it's kind of like not actually the third story, but I don't think it really matters if this points out a bit. Do you know what we can actually do? We can add like a fake chimney up here. And this way, oh baby, we can have a gorgeous chandelier coming down. Since we were kind of doing the outdoorsy bits anyway, like I'm just even adding some stone fences here. I feel like we should go back and do the front garden, which we just so abruptly left. So I think to fill in these bits here, we should have like little bits of rock. <gasps> so we'll have like a little river running wild down here. And hopefully I've... Yes! Sorry, that was very over the top. But I was scared I'd made it wonky and then it would have gone mental, mental, chicken oriental. But it's fine. Now we can add in some fun things like the fountains. And we can have some stepping stones leading up to the front pathway. I'll also grab these chairs that we had down here. We're probably going to want to be outdoors a lot. Oh, finish it off by adding some like rogue plants here and there. I think we should bring the pine trees around. The pine trees? <laughs> Why am I talking like that? We should bring the pine trees around here too. Without giving too much away before we do the tour, this is looking a Stunning. So we're still not done for the little bit of the outside. We actually have a little upstairs bit here we can do. I know how fancy can this get? We're gonna use the wicker sofas. We can actually borrow, and by borrow, I just mean steal these coffee tables from in the other room. Love it. And oh, a hot tub. Stunning. We actually have done most of this house now. So we'll start with the bedroom, which the walls are gonna be slightly different where they're ghost gray. And rather than having a door here, it's technically still a door, but it's gonna be actually our little opening. Because I'm feeling in my Chanel Oberlin era. I'm Chanel number one. Where well, we're going to make a really fancy closet. So we'll have the fancy tall dresser and then the fancy short dresser. And we'll put a necklace stand. Or I think it's in Australia you say a necklace stand. All right, mate. Can you go put this on my necklace? So the extra bits to make it a bit more realistic is like a laundry basket. For the bed, I'm going to add this bed because I know it suits the house. I know you guys would want it. It's very much obliged on my end. Once again, the plaid design I feel is just like pulsing through this building. This is really weird because I just changed my bedding last night to be like a nice plaid and it's got a hint of blue on it. So um, when Blacksburg becomes reality. And then I thought we just wrap this room up with some plants and I also did this desk which I'm obsessed with, by the way. But yes, I have finished the bedroom. Again, not going to give too much away. But we, of course, have the balcony as well on the side here. Next up, I'm going to do the laundry room and then the lounge. The laundry room is basically going to be exactly the same as this room. I'm not going to lie to you. We'll start off by actually encasing the door in cabinets. 
it. <laughs> for the sink, I will be going back to my iconic custom sink. And a lot of you guys have been saying how this sink building hack has grown on you and you've actually been using it in your build. And nothing makes me happier than hearing that, guys. Finally, in the middle here, we're gonna grab some rustic islands. We'll then also add the washer, the dryer, because I just realized I haven't even added them yet. I've added stools, so maybe like the maids can be sat here sewing. And bada bing, bada boom, bada bong. The laundry room is done. This wall can actually be big, big windows. Although it doesn't have the cool roof, it doesn't mean it can't have awesome windows. Down here is basically just gonna be a colossally large sofa. Over here is gonna be like a smaller, like afternoon tea bit. And then here is where that colossal sofa is gonna go. So I don't know about you, but there's nothing worse than when there's not enough pillows on a sofa. So we're gonna make sure that that does not happen here. But, and then as I said, over here is basically just a thing that people with massive living rooms do. So we'll have a couple of chairs here, a couple of chairs here with the Victorian coffee table in the middle. And this is where you're going to be having your British tea and scones. I do feel obliged to add some more of these dresses. And finally in here, some gorgeous pillars. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, you might be thinking, why have you waited so long to do the bathroom, Reese's? Because I'm gonna make it blimmin' awesome. Over here, we can may as well add the sink system. I think that goes well next to a plant. We are gonna have to find a mirror that doesn't get glitchy with the wall, but I think this one, yeah. And then we'll add, oh, that's a little bit big. We'll add a little bathroom mat here too. And also, I always tend to forget the toilet, so we'll add that in. And then for the big finale, we're gonna be doing something I've only done, I think, one or two times before. We'll have the barrel bath, barrel bathtub there, and then the shower is going to actually be made out of a waterfall. Ah! And finish it off with a chandelier, which completes my hillside home. Okay, Reese's Cups, from all angles, we can say that this is a gem. And if we actually go over to the back garden, as you can see, it has immense privacy, but also it just looks so awesome. It like peeking over the top there. This plot with no blocks, bucks, cars or anything values at 446,000. If you wanted to build this yourself, I hope I included enough in the video for you to be able to do that. The first thing we have is our gorgeous garden, which we need to pay attention to the small details, like these brick walls. I think that's so creative of me. Here is our little fireplace. So rather than sitting down, actually, let's go up, let's roast marshmallows, have a party. And also I just love like these plants on the hill. I think it looks so, so cool. You can also get round here, but let's go up our staircase. Once again, I did cool like ricketiness here. And up here's our second seating area before we're even in the house. So if we go in, bash. I feel like Hagrid opening that door like that. This is our hallway. So not only do we have a gorgeous chaise lounge and just quite an aesthetic hallway in itself, but the view over this is well and truly amazing. But before we go do that, we might as well look at what's on this side. So we just built the bathroom and oh my goodness, isn't this just the best? Next to it, we have the bedroom. This is where you'd be sleeping. It's actually very, very simple in here. I just put marble tiles up there. I love how the wardrobe is kind of open and I also really like the desk. So as a whole, this is what the room looks like if you were wondering. And of course, you can get out onto the balcony here so we can look over into like our kind of mini back garden thing. If we leave the bedroom though, let's make our way around. We have the kids lounge. So this is where I'd probably be sitting with my cousins and siblings and such. And I actually really, really like this. Again, a beautiful scenic view. As we make our way downstairs, this, you'd think it'd be my favorite room and it's kind of my favorite and least favorite room at the same time. The high ceilings, I'm digging them. I love them. But a room this big is very, very hard to fill up. Although I think I did a decent job, you know. Through here we have the laundry room. Now, the reason I didn't make this an office is because, like I said, it's probably a holiday home. You're not going to be doing too much work on holiday unless you have to, you know. So we have all of our laundry appliances here. And I just love the view from down here. It's stunning. And if we go through here, this is going to be my favorite room, guys. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Ta-da! The kitchen! As an overview, this takes the cake. I think it must be this floor because this is just so unique. We have our gorgeous shelf system here and then our dining table. We can have a lot of the family over. This, of course, leads into the laundry room. Finally, the main kitchen. I really hope you guys had an amazing time watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you had fun. Thanks to everyone who watched it and I'll see you all later.